we're hooked up and we are very nice very nice hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today is june 11th 2020 and we're doing our drop in math tutoring session number 13 for the 20 for the year 2020 i guess um we're gonna do some math open discussion uh, we've done a lot of these in the last few years so when people show up uh, notifications does go out and uh, math questions if you do have them then uh, just let us know what they are and uh, we'll try to deal with it uh, mainly focus on high school mathematics aside from that the discussion can take us anywhere and it is open discussion so we'll see what happens but usually we try to keep the politics and politics uh, discussions economics definitely related to mathematics it does come up and uh, some physics and astronomy geophysics and whatnot aside from that if you want to follow this work i am in patreon patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work patreon is a great book way to do so i don't put anything behind paywall uh everything's creative commons uh catholic tradition is good afternoon good afternoon uh so you can follow the work there uh if you're into it lag lagger how are you doing welcome welcome to another chill math stream dragons how's life we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat live as is happening twitch is where you want to be at purple pumpkin how are you doing spider-man hello hello hope you guys are doing well time to get schooled <laughs> mark how are you doing mark <laughs> i'm gonna do a comic book uh reading probably in the next batch and most likely i'm gonna do a little intro i i, I did one comic book by okay so and i wouldn't picked it up today so i'll let you know more once i do it okay uh so if you want to participate do i see narnia on the library you do indeed you do indeed lager i actually haven't read narnia yet i read a lot of c.s lewis books but i haven't read narnia uh i don't know why right donite how you doing how's the life i love you for all your vids my friend awesome awesome mark <laughs> thank you for the love Philo Timo, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to a math stream. Mask of Raven, nice, nice. We got hardcore math people here, man. So if you got math questions, drop them. We'll try to deal with them. If I my math abilities are not high enough, there are people in this chat that their math is powerful. If there are wizards, you want them with you. They're a higher wizard level than I am, right? Danite, about to go to sleep but I can hang for a few minutes. Okay, Donite, if you need to go to sleep, go to sleep, brother. Uh, it's a nice math stream, so. Randall, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, and thank you for tier one sub uh, for 10 months in a row. Woohoo! Boop, boop. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, I gotta finish my intro. What am I doing? They just announced another Spider-Man game featuring Miles Morales. I'm so excited. Ah, oh, okay, cool maybe that's why we're seeing a huge jump in prices for the first appearance of miles morales in the last couple of months i've seen a serious kick up in the going price of the first appearance of miles morales uh so it's interesting major shark right major shark chicho hope you're having a wonderful day it's a hot one in uh Oklahoma much love nice nice it's actually hot here too I got the beach umbrella set up so hopefully the sun is not gonna blind us shake oh yeah major shake nice nice miles is getting super popular crazy popular I should have picked up his first appearances when they were going much cheaper but I didn't I still don't have a first appearance on miles Morales uh, they did an amazing job with spider-verse on it so purple pumpkin okay listen do you know how to calculate how big a loan is on the end of the year if not that's okay i just finished my business finals and uh i'm so exhausted loan is on the end of the year 
like the compound interest formula compounded like daily monthly weekly weekly you don't see really um, daily or monthly or quarterly or semi or something yeah for sure okay um, aside from that yeah yeah we can do for sure uh, we'll do one uh, purple pumpkin uh, I do announce these live streams on Twitter Gabs mines VK and LO so if you want to follow the work you can follow it there okay and again subscribing or following through twitch is a fantastic way to support this project as well okay um, this the math streams as of yet I haven't been loading on the audios onto SoundCloud yet uh, some of the previous stuff I might but we will be loading on a fair bit of stuff onto SoundCloud and audio format as podcasts. People have been asking about that. Ahoy, Graham, how are you doing? Calculating interest is easy. Just follow a simple formula. Just follow some. Sometimes the formula can get a little bit more complicated. Uh, there's, it's just simple interest formula and compound interest formula, right? Uh, aside from that, we will be uploading these streams to BitChute and YouTube. Everything goes on BitChute sensors permitting we'll load as much as we can on uh, YouTube and if you are following on YouTube uh, if you want to support this work you can definitely follow for sure comment like and share and whatnot and you can join YouTube membership we just got approved for that at the beginning of this year okay aside from that gang welcome to another math live stream let me take these guys down I'm trying to stay up to chat uh, as much as possible i want to implement dates in a dish other than wrapping it in bacon and put it on a grill any suggestions dates in a dish yeah dates and eggs is amazing rendell uh one thing i do eat uh, as breakfast and sometimes lunch and dinner doesn't make a difference uh, take dates uh, and heat them up in a pan okay with a little bit of oil but dates burn fast right because they're sugar high right so keep an eye on them make it low heat and dates when you heat them up they become softer right so when they get soft just flip them okay some of them might burn a little bit and then scramble the eggs and break it on top let the eggs cook just put a lid on it let it cook fantastic very delicious very powerful protein and the carbs and iron super good the other thing I do with dates I make date and cheese sandwiches okay so toast your bread put cheese on it and dates and eat it that way or just dates and cheese together or just dates straight up and I do put dates in my cereals a lot of the time break up the dates and put them in and that's the sweetener that goes in there right is the audio out of sync or just me hopefully not I hope not yes it is the audio is out of sync okay we'll refresh is today's math stream or can we this uh, uh, discover general topic uh, as much as as long as it's not politics the politics we're trying to keep on the politics stream how to graph one over one plus e to the power of negative x jeebus, jeebus. go to a software mask of raven go to go to a uh, wolf um, alpha or i just discovered another uh, here let me open up my other browser let me give you the name of this uh, thing desmos i'm going to give you guys the uh, the link to this website as well let me close this so the computer's not over check out this site this is something that uh, some of my students are using desmos and some of the teachers are using to get kids to learn how to graph and stuff like this audio is good okay is audio good okay substitute e for 10 if you want okay cool uh let me do the uh compound interest formula food and math stream food and math stream elder god how you doing uh can you speak armenian uh i can speak armenian yeah definitive thing to do with days for me is sticky toffee pudding Ooh, nice Good evening, Chicho and chat. Brett, how are you doing? How are you doing well? I'm doing well. So it sounds like a lot of people are doing well. Geo Gebra is good too. Geo Gebra, I don't know what that is. Oh, Geo Gebra, that's another website, eh? There's so many websites, tools coming on online that you can do things with, which is fantastic. Oh, Mask of Raven, you like Desmos. I just found it in the last two weeks, really. 
because some of my students they were getting assignments on this and I played around with it a little bit it's pretty good I still have to figure it out I haven't spent too much time other than just doop, right mm, nice well, I'm not a university professor lad I agree Desmos is quite nice okay we've got two thumbs up from two of the hardcore mathematicians here right Grant, our math teachers faci facilitated oh so a lot of people are using it Ju 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 Jubra Jubra is more like a software it's amazing you can put uh, parameters in it and do some cool stuff oh Philo if you're on our discord please uh, link it up in our discord okay please link it up in our discord uh, I don't know that software at all Jibra or someone else you guys if you go check it out you like it link it up in our discord uh, that way everybody has a tool available to them hello from Germany hello pumpkin okay let's do the compound interest I wonder if uh, dates and jalapenos will be any good it should be I can't see why not am I math of oh, uh, asking Philo I've never ever used Wolfram I I basically use Wolfram that was my to go to thing but I don't like the copyright things on it so I don't promote it too much I blush when people call me mathematician <laughs> use it to your power man that's a that's a that's a huge plus dates and jalapeno liqueur wow good afternoon twitching Jason so let's do this uh, compound interest right let's pick a darker pen I've been going through a lot of pens a is equal to p1 plus r over n and it could be plus or minus n to the power of t okay that's your compound interest formula right peppers have a decent amount of sugar really i didn't know that sugar on everything oh do you mask of raven desmos wolfram and g, g judge bra oh my god i can't even Ju jebra what a weird pronunciation name once you remember it though you won't forget it uh, so the way it works is this is your principle my black is dying let's go dark green let's check out dark green where's the other ones oh the other ones are there let's check out this one sure this is your principle this is what you start with this is what you end with total okay um, and what's what's a stand for I don't know what a stands for I just call it total what you end with really end with R is your rate interest rate interest and you have to use it in decimal format oh, that's not coming out too well let's try brown doop, doop. free math love the random date appreciation in chat <laughs> dates are amazing dates are amazing let's check this out this is interest right okay that's the better n is the compounding period period and this is your t is your time and usually in years right and this is just one right use this math at work nice well sort of nice hopefully you're collecting interest not paying interest right every time i buy dates i eat a couple and don't eat the rest oh really and I, dates keep for a while and by the way you can make shakes with dates as well right uh boil some water right use it as a sweetener boil some water take the pits out of dates right and then put the dates in a bowl put boiling water in there and the dates really break down a lot right and then you can throw those in the blender with whatever you're blending up and make a shake or a protein drink or whatever you're making right and one thing i do do with dates i've been doing this for a while now is when i'm eating dates dates are dry i grab the dates uh, not for a while for for a couple of more than a few months now right 
I run them underwater and I wash the dates. Okay. Could be because of the COVID thing. Who knows? Right. Do you know statistics? Bell curves and probability? Yeah, some. Right. I'm not I'm not there to create a whole series on probability and statistics yet, but uh, we do some stuff. Z distribution and whatnot. Don't let anyone change for math. Charge for math for the most part. Nice. Professor Jicho Vaida, how are you doing? Time to learn, time to learn. You can make jam out of yeah, jam out of dates as well. Paste, right? Uh, date molasses is really good. Uh, dates is power food, man. Dates is power food. Lots of lots of iron in dates and keeps you regular, right? Jess Filippo, double zero, a pilot and a crewman both have a watch synchronized. Plane flies around the world. Less time has occurred for the pilot. Agreed, right? But very, very, very less time, right? But relative to him, the time is the same as the person on Earth. To an observer, it's less time. Math is my kryptonite. You know what else is really good? You know what else is phenomenal aside from dates? Lemon meringue pie. <laughs> we still have some left. <laughs> Lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue pie is fantastic. Right? Boop. Lemon meringue pie. Will it focus? Will it focus? Nice. Right. Lemon meringue pie. so powerful I am jealous my god it's so good this lemon meringue pie is the best lemon meringue pie that I've ever had all right from this bakery they didn't go easy on the meringue there very good no but the watches will be out of sync when he lands right yeah the watches will be out of sync all right now check this out let's assume you had a question let's assume you had a question saying you borrowed a hundred thousand dollars Right. you're paying are we borrowing from a credit card company from loan sharks from wall street where are we borrowing from <laughs> let's say let's say you borrowed a hundred thousand dollars from your nana and she's very nice and loves you and you're part of family so she only charges you two percent interest right. that's a good nana right and you're gonna pay back you promise to pay back a hundred thousand dollars Right, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna try your luck and go flip it, see if you can get a higher percentage and pay this back, right? Chicho, I checked out your website, it's amazing. Thanks, Liger. I bookmarked it to study everything you got on there regarding politics, history, and society. I see you have a special interest in the concept of virtual privacy 100%. I wanted to ask you a question Does everything we write on Twitch get stored some, uh, forever? Oh, for sure right now because what's happening is uh, you see this this is everything that's appearing on twitch and I upload these this this stuff to YouTube and BitChute, right so it's there unless it gets knocked out right some of the there's been streams that I haven't uploaded so they won't appear there's a couple of streams I forgot to turn on the chat because we were having trolls I turn it off and I forgot to turn it on uh, and I'm assuming twitch keeps this data somewhere yeah you would have to have one heck of a high uh, precision wash to notice the difference. Yeah, twelve percent. <laughs> let's assume you're gonna flip this. Let's do the convert. Let's do the comparison, right? Let's assume you're gonna pay. You're gonna be paying twelve percent, but hopefully getting twelve percent back, right? Let's assume you're gonna try to do this for a five-year period, right? So you told your nana you're gonna pay her back in five years in lump sum we're just going to do lump sum we don't care right five years five years and she's going to compound semi annually twice a month twice a year right so this is going to be let me rewrite this so we see the so we see this so this is a hundred thousand dollars and this is for the first one this is what you're going to be paying this is uh, semi 
twice a year they call it semi so twice per year okay and for this one you're hoping to get to get paid monthly right uh, compounded monthly monthly and this is the compounding period right pound what's the total going to be for each one of those and then you can do the calculation and figure out how much profit you're going to be making right Take a small loan of a million dollars small loan of a million dollars math is so a big ubiquitous 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 it's used in fields that involve rocket science to finance to con construction one of the reasons why i love it 100 percent miro how are you doing by the way yo i recommend that carl monk video and linked it in your discord because someone here told me that was the place that is the place to link it up and thank you very much for linking it up there told me that was the place for it uh but the first comment was mad at me for it and i didn't even finish reading his comment before i left because uh nice oh is that the five hour video is that uh, is that what you linked up because the commenter seemed very mad and almost like he was insulted i wonder if he actually watched the video is that the five hour video you loaded up brother and the commenter would have been me right because dumping a five hour video on a discord in your first appearance telling people to watch it and comment you got to give a little bit more feedback than that brother right which part of it highlight a couple of features do a little teaser do a little uh, thing have a little foreplay right otherwise it just seems like spam right if, if that's the case right and was i mad no i'm just it's just five hours is a long time to expect people to watch something without any background right hey could you come here and spend five hours watching something i'm going to put in front of you uh can you kiss me before you do that right they do i appreciate that the chat is part of the show i'm glad uh, that sticks around got to keep that somewhere i think so a trip to mars my tape okay i'm gonna do this these calculations math is that compound interest or something that is compound interest or something tolerable lactose intolerable haha <laughs> loading it which is good and it's your uh, besides you uploading it which is good and it's your and your viewers decision does twitch store chat logs indefinitely i'm guessing they do usually lost because they are huge files i don't know how huge they would be okay Da, 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 da. compound interest so let's do these calculations hello cutie zoot how are you doing long time no see long time no see live thank you for proving uh uh proving service uh, providing a service i'm assuming uh on this platform very hard to disagree with you let's do this calculation let's figure out how much you're gonna have to pay back your nana after five years you just use this formula right so a is going to be hundred thousand dollars one plus two percent interest is point zero two right zero point zero two right. holden who's how are you doing i don't know if indefinitely divided by that's a compounding period right that was the interest compounding period twice a year semi-annually right so you put a two there and you got nt so two and then t is going to be five years right we would have to punch that in now if you're going to punch this in in one shot okay like a lot of people don't know how to punch something like this into a calculator in one shot right if you have those big large graphing calculators you gotta you can use your brackets and do it personally i just use a regular calculator you would go 0 0.02 divided by two so let, let me bring out the calculator Boop. 0 0.02 divided by 2 which is 0 0.01 right and then you add it to 1 plus 1 okay Boop. so you got 1.01 .01, and then you take it to the power of 2 times 5 which is 10 right so to the power of to the power of 10 Boop. you get 1.1 and you multiply it by 100,000 right so times 
I don't know why I'm punching in it. It's just five zeros over, but whatever. We do it this way. Right? So this becomes one one zero four six two four six two point. And whenever you're talking about money, take it to two decimal places, right? Because that takes you to the cents. And it's point two one two five is point two one, right? And that's how much money you would have to give your nana right after five years if she's charging you two percent interest compounded semi annually twice a year starsky chicho <laughs> i love these streams brother me too arp is the rate without considering compound interest apy is the effective rate includes interest okay is that the terminology cool what is the difference between apy and apr yeah, I don't know the terminology, but Catholic traditions fills us in. So fantastic. What's the real mo world motivation behind the one over n multiplier by the interest? Because I'll explain that the compounding as soon as we do this calculation. Let's do this calculation and then we'll take a look at it, right? Uh, and if we wanted to see the difference, we could do it for two compounded monthly and you'll find out that it's a little bit more so the way it works is here let me uh, explain to you right now because what happens if you're compounding semi-annually they take the interest rate that you're charging they're charging per year right and they break it up into the number of times they're going to calculate the interest and add it to your debt right so six months into your debt every year right they calculate how much interest would be on two percent per year and then that accumulates onto the debt you owe and for the next six months you're going to be paying interest on top of the interest that was accumulated right for this one if they're divvying this up um, over a monthly period that means every month there's going to be interest charged on you right and then whatever that interest was is going to tag on to the total amount you owe so the next month that interest is going to be charged it's not just on the principal it's on the interest that accumulated on it as well that's why the compounding is ridiculous right well ridiculously important let's say let's finish off this calculation so we see what 12 percent versus two percent compound and monthly does right and anger how are you doing welcome welcome and thank you for twitch prime sub 12 months running Woo so let's do this one a what are we going to call this paying i guess we call this paying and this is a nana a nana a nana and this is a p let's erase those a p so this is going to be a hundred thousand dollars right one plus 12% is 0 0.12 divided by, you're going to be compounding monthly. Connor, how are you doing? You're going to be compounding monthly. So that's 12 months in a year, right? So 12, and then you're going to do it uh, 12, the N is 12, right? And we're going to do it for five years, okay? Now, if you're going to punch this in your calculator in one shot, just know that 12 times five is 60. So keep that in mind. Can I give an example afterwards? Sure. If you get a mortgage, is that interest compounded? Um, depends on whatever deal you cut with your bankers, right? I'm pretty sure, you know, the the scammers will try to compound it monthly, or at least semi-annually or quarterly. Quarterly would be four times a year. Okay. So that's 60. 12 times 5 is 60. So keep that in mind because you're going to be taking whatever's in here to that power, right? So again, you would go, if you're doing your math calculation, I'm just going to do it, 0 0.12 divided by 12, right? So 0 0.12 divided by 12, right? You get 0 0.01 plus 1 plus 1, right? Which is 1.01 .01 to the power of 60, to the power of 60, boop which is 1.8166 times 100,000, right? Again, you just move it over 5,000 more places, but let's do this. You get 
six hundred and sixty nine dollars and sixty seven cents holy camoles right if you can borrow money right if you can borrow money at two percent and put it somewhere where you're getting 12 percent and the compounding adds a little bit more but this is the main part right so you're getting 10 percent extra per year right that means you just made this minus this okay math major chicho i had asked a question about gas prices above but i looked looked it up myself gas prices are uh are listed in listed in tenths of a cent so gas stations can have the advantage of having a price ending in nine but also the flexibility of penny increase and decrease i just assumed it was for the scam just to make it it's just selling marketing isn't it when they go whatever it is here is yeah 0.99 right catholic traditionalist thank you for taking care of business and then if you subtract this guy minus one one zero four six two six two point two one point two one you just made seventy one thousand dollars seventy one thousand two hundred and seventy and forty six cents this is how much profit you made this is how much you were able to get your money to beget money right now keep this in mind wall street bankers right now got trillions of dollars at interest free zero they, they ain't paying nothing right free money right and then they're flipping that into the stock market stock buybacks bonuses or lending it to joe blow if they qualify and whatnot and they're getting interest in five years they get hundreds of billions of dollars of free money profit coming back right very nice very nice very nice scam very nice scam right. i hope that that's okay okay what kind of math do i teach i teach high school mathematics time value of money economic lending death 420 how are you doing i'm missing a lot of chat gang so my apologies if there's any questions uh that are directed towards me please let me know i'm gonna pop a little bit of more meringue pie oh oh this has got to go look at that goodness <laughs> can we do it in one shot yeah <laughs> for someone with a beard i've had a lot of practice boom b day boy 30 principal 245,517 apy so apy was um, i forget what apy was period equals eight days interest is compounded daily what is the amount of interest earned okay sure let's do I don't know what, what was API again people lending to the Netherlands pay to lend the money that's way better than Wall Street <laughs> negative interest rates right <laughs> crazy this is torture death 420 no, no I want meringue pie no, I, I everybody wants meringue pie I'm telling you <laughs> this meringue pie anyway oof, so delicious annual percent yield i guess how are you doing hey chicho send me off topic and not trying to uh detract from the lesson but i'm curious if you ever still teach in a classroom setting or if those days are behind you magus i never taught in a classroom setting okay i've done i've done i've been invited to do you know do a lesson or two a couple of hours here and there two three hour lessons and stuff i don't i can't remember it's only a handful right I, it's not 
I don't like going to institutions and doing presentations and stuff just because there's a lot of things you can't say and do and interact right you have to have huge filters on right and for me I have filters on when I talk with my students I don't swear I don't you know it's basically like this even more filtered of course right uh, so I, I don't teach in classrooms I have no desire to teach in classrooms classrooms are uh, I'm not an institutional person right uh, institutions in general they're not the best way best places to in general right there are exceptions I can't believe people are still putting money in CDs these days <laughs> is that CIDs or uh, CDS is CD is that the what's that called where they put money and they give you a certain amount of interest one percent or one and a half percent certificate OD deposit I think people call these things uh, just different things I think they call them CIDs here in Canada hey Chicho Starsky uh, do you know the mass behind probability within ho uh, within horse racing it's a simple example uh, to dice but it has an infinite amount of variables that determine an outcome how can you qualify uh, quantify this within an equation thing I, I don't know it I know the there's huge statistics involved in just gambling in general horse racing in a big way um, but I haven't gone that deep into it just a quick question off topic while teaching I imagine you have a any student who who don't want to learn have you learned any ways of uh, getting through to people or showing them a better way yeah for sure a lot of brother I teach kids in high school most kids in high school have no desire to learn mathematics I have to get them excited about it right and in general my success rate is pretty good I'm like you know just give you a ballpark I'm like 95% success right but there is 5% that I, it just doesn't work right don't go to the track don't go to the track <laughs> Pip says love Pip memento TV how do I make math fun to learn okay let me deal with that uh, interest question bring them pie not necessarily no and it depends on the person it depends on the kid right where's that question principle is 240 that's very specific uh, B B day boy <laughs> like two principle is two four five five one seven one eight five one seven point one eight this is your dollars right again I'm not so sure what AP APY is but one point one percent so interest or the rate rate is one point one percent right and eight days eight days eight days okay uh, time would equal eight days right so as long as you're working the same time frame the units you don't care if it's days or years or whatever it is just remember if it's compounding daily it's um, compound it daily <laughs> eight one over less to the calculations I don't I usually don't deal with that this kind of stuff I'm trying to figure out what goes where right how do I make the math fun da, 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 da. cool beer thanks uh, the number of permutations when dealing with exotics in a horse race oh my better luck trying to be a day tra <laughs> trader than going to the horse track yeah make arithmetics great again ah Miro my God, make arithmetics great again so the interest rate formula you know what I would just do simple interest on this right it's eight days eight so uh, what is it uh, interest is equal to P R T right and that's all you would do okay P you should be able to do it that way we'll do it both ways we'll figure it out right so your principle is couldn't you have like a 
easier number than punch this in? Can we do it with a regular, just a simple number? Compound daily would only mean principal increases daily, right? Right. Ah, oh, principal. Yeah, every every day, the interest divvied up. This interest divvied up over eight eight day period adds on to the principal. Chicho, I won the lottery. I can't believe it. Ding bobber. Serious? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Question is, how much did you win? <laughs> so principal is this. I'm just gonna put this number P. We know what the number is. Oh, okay, let me write it down. Two four five five one seven point one eight. The rate is this. Um, over time period, the time period is eight, right? Over eight days, and you're going to be paying this in eight days. That's what they're charging you in eight days. I want a free ticket. <laughs> nice thing bobber the next one is going to be more that's what they count on right a free ticket to participate in the next lottery <laughs> so this thing would be 1.0.011 1 right well it's, i don't usually use this formula so i think that's what you do right and then the other one We'll punch that in once I get, get the calculator up. So we'll make a little bit of room here. The other one is this one. A is equal to principal, which is 245517.181 plus the rate is, what was the rate? 0 0.011 over is compounded daily. So there's eight days to the power of eight times eight. I think that's what it should be. Okay. Let's punch these numbers in and see what we get for both of them. And remember, this is includes the principal as well. Right? So let's just do this one first. So to calculate this one to get the interest, we would have to subtract at the end, we subtract the principal from it, right? So this one is uh, clear this two, four, five. Two four five five one seven five one seven point one eight jibas jibas uh, times point zero one one times eight. But this doesn't include the compounding, by the way, right? So this won't include the compounding. Oh, thank you very much, by the way, uh, Lou, 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 love love pip. So this is two one six zero five point five one right that's just the interest no compounding straight up this over an eight day period this is the compounding one right so it would be this one you would need okay so it would be point zero one point zero one one so uh, and that's eight times eight is sixty four right so point zero one one divided by eight is equal to that plus one is equal to that to the power of not 68 64 to the power of 64 boop, times this two wiki oh did i do this oh i forgot to add the one pooper scooper let me do this again point zero one one divided by eight boop, plus one there we go to the power of 64 equals that there you go that's better times 245 245 517 517.18 so you get this 268 0564 0 85.64 right and then you subtract the principal so that's a so the interest would be your principal minus your a this guy right so it just be this minus not principal minus a it's a minus principal right a minus p this minus that all right if I won a huge lottery, I'd ask Chicho for his 
hourly rate on lottery lottery advice <laughs> oh good my dude you know da, da, da. i think you forgot to convert that it, it, see that's the thing i don't know what the api stood for you told me what it was but i don't know the tech technically what it is right i'm just going with simple compound two six eight zero because api is not something terminology that i know of we don't say api in canada like i don't know what that means mine is two four five five one seven point one eight so this way compounded you get twenty two thousand five hundred and sixty eight dollars and forty six cents right so because the compounding the difference here is what you're paying in the compounding aspect of it right so the compounding ends up costing you well let's do this minus minus two one six zero five two one six zero five point five one hey what happened ah oh, the number i okay we're not anyway subtract this from this my calculator computer calculators suck so i earned twenty one thousand plus for eight days of interest sorry yep basically All right not bad on this two hundred and forty five thousand dollars that's not bad at all that's not bad at all that's very good that's very good can you be lost in math can you be lost in mathematics starsky yeah for sure for sure i can get lost in this pie too and the, those guys are, um, what do you call it? Marzipans, right? Look at that goodness. All right. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the terms. Talk programmer? I don't owe the banks anything. I don't have a mortgage i don't have a lease i don't have a loan i don't i don't deal with them right so i don't know the terminology they use i've used it before for sure like 20 years ago the last time i dealt with banks was 20 years ago okay i have no interest to deal with them and anger chicho about to close on apartment for myself the landlord was very surprised to find out I was 23 and moving out of my parents place already I feel like I'm old to being I feel like I'm old to be moving out not young and anger there's a lot of people that can't afford that right you're lucky you're very very lucky right and you're smart you did it right congratulations right that's fantastic there there are many people who during high school i'm assuming you made the right choices during high school and you learned you studied and got work experience and stuff like this there's a lot of people that don't grasp that they're living in bubbles one of the first things i do like people ask me uh, you guys ask me how do i motivate kids right it really depends on the kid okay it really like huge okay but some of the tactics that i use uh, i explain to them that they're living in a bubble okay i try to shatter their world not fear-based but reality-based right so i try to explain to them look mama mama and daddy are not going to take care of you for the rest of your life and even if they are you're going to be be very unattractive to the rest of this, the world that knows how to be independent right and these are just some of the techniques i use i explain to them i ask them in general what do they want to do in their lives right and that's a bad question to ask kids right because they don't know what they want to do but in general i phrase it in terms of what do you love to do what would you 
what's your ideal day like do you get up do you do you like playing video games fantastic video games are a great thing to do but is that the only thing you're doing if that's the only thing you're doing then who's gonna pay your rent who's gonna buy your food right what are you what are you gonna do for money right what are you gonna do beyond video games because at some point you're gonna get bored of video games right and they go oh no I'll get never get bored I go well have you ever played certain video game they go yeah yeah it was great I go did you get bored of that game they go yeah you can only play for I go okay so you got bored of a game who says you'll never get bored of playing video games 24 7 or 10 hours a day or six hours a day right some people don't but then I get into addictions and stuff it really is individual individually based right that's why class size matters one of the jobs of an educator of someone who gives a rat's ass right is to facilitate learning is to is to present things in a way that the person that you're speaking to has as wide of a grasp of that information as possible that way they can incorporate that knowledge into their own existence their own being right and mathematics because their centralized education system has been so horrendous it's been force feeding kids right saying just consume just eat, just like anything else right just shove this down your throat irrelevant if you don't know why this is good for you right now we're telling you it's good for you right that is the most ridiculous way to teach any subject right especially mathematics because mathematics is so abstract or could be abstract right so when someone asked me how do i motivate my students i have multiple different techniques multiple different examples multiple different ways of interacting with someone to try to motivate them on that note i'm not a hundred percent successful right some people it's not just mathematics that is the issue it's education that's an issue it's they're they're ha they're in a bad space right some people have certain learning disabilities right or they're on a spectrum or whatever you want to call them sorry i'm not politically correct right some people have had certain gaps in their education and they have defense mechanisms up because they don't understand the simplest concepts over here because they were never taught that concept now they struggle with everything else right so right there you try to figure out where that gap is right but if they have too many defenses up it's very difficult to penetrate those walls right it takes a lot of energy a lot of care a lot of a lot of focus to be able to facilitate learning for people right which is why I'm so against centralized education because centralized education that's the last thing it cares about centralized education is a meat market it's like it's, 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 it's a slaughterhouse bring them in push them out bring them in push them out you want this you here we, we provided you someone that can a monkey that can push this button a monkey that can push this button a monkey that can push this button it's not about educating the kids it's about providing a workforce or cannon fodder right or statistics to centralized entities okay uh, i could go on on this forever okay compound is only good for warren buffett spot teasing me da, 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 da. <laughs> what? okay i'm gonna scroll down i'm gonna scroll down hell if i make uh, 21k in eight days i think i'd go buy a lemon meringue pie as a celebration i guess <laughs> my boy left at 18 and already has his ira compound interest how did you get around that banks ooh, evil evil those are common terms and explanations can be found every, anywhere sure but i have no desire by the way talk program i have no desire to look up what those terms mean and specifically the formulas it's it's not something that i teach in canada to my students we do we do this simple interest and compound interest that's it all right when is the next cooking stream what pie are we eating <laughs> when I start, we're eating i'm still eating meringue pie i'm still eating meringue pie and the next cooking stream i'm gonna try to set it up for the next batch okay so
in the next batch of videos we're gonna chew we're gonna do at least one comic book reading and we'll do a cooking stream I'll try to okay like 90 percent okay API oh there's a formula API Catholic traditions API equals 1 plus R over N to the power of N minus 1 okay cool so let's do API thanks Catholic traditionalist mm, where am I gonna put this I'm gonna take out the simple interest this guy yeah it's just a formula right API a P Y sorry is boom one plus r over n to the power of n minus one is that correct that's it easy so it's going to be one plus r is 0 0.011 over eight to the power of eight minus one right and that's going to be your multiple i'm assuming right and then you would multiply whatever you got here times that guy right so let's do it let's see what we end up getting cool so 0 0.011 divided by 8 is equal to that plus 1 is equal to that to the power of 7 is equal to that 1.009664 let's say 4 8 and then multiply this times that do a key here's what we get times two four five two four five five one seven point one eight oh I put point eight oh well it's okay did we get the right number oh yeah so we got two four seven comma eight nine zero point six eight did i punch that incorrectly did i punch it incorrectly yeah i think so but if we subtract this from this it's only two thousand so i'm not sure how we got twenty one thousand here or where is it uh twenty two thousand so subtract that from there whatever that is like that formula I don't know two four five so I'm subtracting this guy five one seven point one eight Boop. so two thousand three hundred seventy three point five one two thousand three hundred seventy three point five one so according to the api formula that's what you would get okay too bad this one is better uh, save and stay out of debt never borrow money pay cash for everything never finance a home for more than 15 years pip good advice right api gives you the effective annual rate you can think of it as a rate that bakes in compounding okay my youngest is 17 and has fifteen thousand dollars in his account nice both my kids started working at 15 and brought bought their own cars awesome with cash awesome right zoot i live in las vegas does anybody think politicians have thought of a lottery in Nevada to increase tax revenue fact is a lottery is the worst possible bet in existence they call it tax on stupid people right and mind you every now and then I've bought a lottery as well and I give us a gift and there was periods in my life in the past woo, 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 long time ago where I bought these numbers every week just because I was into the gambling thing right still doesn't stop some from traveling an hour into california to buy lottery tickets somebody is going to win right somebody's going to win and there's no lottery in nevada you can't buy lottery tickets in nevada the gambling capital of the world you can't buy lottery tickets actually i shouldn't say the world from what i understand macau more money trades hands in macau than it does in las vegas so 
Mm -mm -mm. What is cream? Indeed it is. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Chicho. An anger. Chicho. I got an uh, illustration degree. XD. I do my I do my passion on the side, but having an any degree got me a decent enough job to pay rent and living with the parents cramps the style after a while in an anger 100% it does cramp the style right you need to be able to really uh, become look I don't want to burn feathers I don't want to I don't want to get people pissed off or anything right however it's a good thing to get pissed off every now and then if you are still living at home if you haven't broken or distanced yourself from the relationship that you have you have had with your parents okay I don't care how an amazing it is right you need to to be considered in my opinion to be really coming to manhood I can't speak for womanhood I, I, I you know I can only speak for manhood okay to become a man to become an adult you have to reach a point where you look at your parents as equals right as people who have done the best they could with what was offered to them what was given to them what they worked their asses off to get right and realize that wow that's you right they're not benevolent they're not without mistake they they're just human beings that did the best with what they could right once you reach that state of being and you you don't hold animosity or anything you got to let go of that crap right you realize that you are human beings that are traveling this that are that are that are living your lives to the best of your abilities right and your paths will always be connected right but you are not them and they are not you they're not allowed to live their lives through you because it's a huge burden on you right you need that separation to find yourself in this world okay and to really appreciate what your passions are and and have that clarity of being right you cannot have that if you're all living under the same roof forever okay in some cultures you might I, I you know there are cultures that live together in, in the household and you know the only time they move out if they get married and stuff like this fine and dandy right uh, if that's the way you want to be but I can honestly tell you once you find yourself who you are uh, it is a brilliant path that you might be on right it could be a brutal path as well don't get me wrong but it is your experience from then on okay and as an anger said it cramps your style okay I have to take my daughter to her ballet class nice I will be listening but I might not be able to contribute much for a bit no worries Catholic traditionalists I hope you uh, you stick around that uh, your daughter's ballet class and watch them do their paradiddles this is parad no paradiddles is drums what do they call them they go, doo -doo 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 -doo. what about lection guys chicho lyrics chicho lyrics I gotta do those ASMR ones another day no vacuum decay is this I'm not coming. okay I'm scrolling down it was given though Ch -ch -ch. not quite oh did I make a mistake with my calculations oh minus one it wasn't to the power pooper scooper let's do the correction here thank you Catholic traditions not the parentheses Whoop this is minus one really so let's do that calculation lotteries are rigged. right right that's what it is so let's do this one and see what the number is okay so I'm gonna erase these guys so let's try this again and the one is gonna be here minus one Boop, bu, bu, bum, bum, bum. 
point zero one one divided by eight boop, plus one boop, to the power of eight boop, minus one boop. and then you get this is much better point zero one one zero five three and then multiply that by that to see what you would get so times two four i think i remember two four five five one two four five five one seven point one eight two thousand seven hundred thirteen so two thousand seven hundred and thirteen dollars and seventy two cents is that correct hopefully i punched it incorrectly i think so Spread your wings and fly, at least down the block, at least down the block. I couldn't find myself at my 30 years old. Yeah. I still, I had my head up my, my ass in my 20s. Paradiddles, tap. Ah, oh, paradiddles is tap. That's the same thing as drums. Ba, 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 ba. Paradiddles. She taps as well, by the way. Ah, nice. We call them uh, paradiddles in, uh, in drumming as well, which is basically... I used to do, be able to do it fast. So one, two, boom, 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 one two three and four one two three and four one two three and four just uh ice with lemon water <laughs> ice with lemon water water with ice and lemon that was me at 12 years old i must be a freak hello Philip, hope you're doing well. Lost, how are you doing? Just saw your name, but you had it up here. Mistake, big problem. What was the mistake? Oh, yeah, 30. Yeah, more meringue pie. I'll put a little. That's no, okay. Very good. The glass. I read it as glasses. What are you guys munching on? Lost 69. Hello, I'm fine. Thanks, and what about you? I'm doing pretty good. Really appreciating this meringue pie. The green there is marzipan. You're on season four of Babylon Five. Damn, you're going through that fast. Um, we're on episode number. I think we're on episode number seven or eight of season one. What a great series it is! By the way, gang, if you never watched Babylon Five, if you like science fiction, right? If you like Star Trek, not Star Warsy, but Star Trek, and it's on the same caliber as Star Trek. Uh, um, Star Trek The Next Generation um, with Captain Picard and stuff like this. Babylon 5 is fantastic. Okay. You can watch the first movie or you can start off with episode one. If you watch the movie, the uh, pilot, it's a little rough around the edges. The cast changes into the regular season but it's a fantastic series intellectual intelligent good science fiction very good science fiction and depth to it okay and elder god has set up a discord page where you can join and get insight into babylon 5. 
Um, I teach mathematics, Philip. I teach math privately and mainly high school mathematics. Is Star Trek with brains? Star Trek with brains. Star Trek has brains. Elder God. I'm I'm not I'm not on your level yet, right? A Star Trek is is pretty good, man. Star Trek the Next Generation was amazing. The original Star Trek series was fantastic. The first um black uh white kiss on television, right? The first kiss interracial kiss on television series was on star trek from the 1960s right the original star trek series the original star trek series broke a lot of ground it was very intelligent very good the next generation was fantastic as well but it's very intelligent uh babylon 5 is very good okay chicho have you ever read the stone and the flute no i've never read it pip it's fantasy it sounds fantasy to me yeah Zut, not very politically correct to mention Aristotle and Plato, isn't it? Because of their attitude towards slavery, okay? Huge mistake if you don't start your mathematical prowess with them. Aristotle was an obstacle to scientific progress because his works were deemed so complete that no one challenged them, considered less theoretically valuable in Western modern time. But here's the kicker just because the rest of society considered to be so complete that really doesn't mean the burden is on aristotle unless aristotle went around and assassinated any any mathematicians or scientists that came up with new theories which is which is something that's happened throughout history right when certain scientists came around or mathematicians or philosophers came around and said oh for example the earth is not the center of the universe we revolve around the sun the sun doesn't revolve around us the church and the rest of the we can call them technocrats back then rest of the oligarchs and the technocrats and stuff like this forced those people to commit suicide right or just straight out kill them right so i'm not sure who where the blame lies is it the people that came up with the theory that was so beautiful that no one else decided to explore things any further or is it the responsibility of society right chicho season one and two is a is a big change is it a big change elder god Ooh, i've seen i haven't seen complete babylon 5 but i've seen the ending i believe the the finale the last season for sure i'm pretty sure i watched all the episodes but because the stuff was just airing on tv uh, you know you could only catch it when it was airing right or reruns greatest book you ever read nice blamos equal foot equal foot uh the greatest book you ever let read uh flute uh not flute uh vip if, if you're on our discord page please put a link to the book or the series in our discord page and we have two sections for it one is uh, light topics and the other one is heavy topics so I'm assuming stone and, and the flute is a fantasy book is it a fantasy series equal footing in society is the greatest trick the government ever pulled <laughs> Did they cover that in Babylon 5 elder God I, I I'm loving what I'm what I'm seeing in Babylon 5 by the way equal footing yeah as George Carlin would say uh, they're they're 100 correct how's, how's it go uh, American dream is exactly that you have to be asleep to believe it right or to live it equal footing We took down a whole meringue pie. Mm -hmm. Not a whole pie, but a gigantic piece. Must be done. And by the way, gang, the odds are, oh, thank you very much for the biz. George Carlin, thumbs up. Wolfgang, Blitz. Carlin is amazing. I've seen him live, by the way in 
when did I see him live? It was either early 2000s or late 1990s. I think it was early 2000s I saw Carlin live. He was very good. Very good. And thank you very much for the bits. A guy on YouTube says that a black streamer who is awesome. Oh, really? Equal footing in society is the greatest trick the government ever pulled. Cool. No baby spice. I didn't make the pie myself. I bought it at a bakery. But um, I got to get the recipe. My mom knows how to make pie. This pie. Meringue pie. It was very good. Missing tremendously. There are a number of people that are greatly missed in our societies. Bill Hicks. George Carlin those are the two comedians right what equal footing in society well in terms of having access to money that's one thing right everybody has equal opportunity to do business but they don't right it's who you know everyone has equal opportunity to get an education but that's not true right there's blockers put in place filters put in place to eliminate people social equality if those blockers were put in place in by individuals for themselves if it's a certain person that doesn't want to deal with certain people or certain institutions fine and dandy but once it becomes institutionalized once things become institutionalized then you see what we're seeing right now. Right. I'll give you an example. Since we're doing education, education is one, right? Our education systems have collapsed. <gasps> done. In Canada, United States, anyway, they're done, right? There are people who actually, throughout the last 10, 15 years, there's been people who have actually families who have actually gone into fist fights, right? When there is apartment condos available in a district that has good school reputation, right? So all of a sudden they build an apartment complex, right? And people line up to buy condos because what they want to do is they want to live in a catchment that the centralized state says if you live in that area then your kids go to the school right so everyone tries to get a everyone with a family with kids tries to get living living space in that area so their kids can go to the school other places the school doesn't have a high rating and it gets decimated right because people are trying to get the hell out okay now if you know the developers you're in like flynn right if you have access to the banks you're in like flynn you can get your apartments right all of a sudden there's only a small percentage of apartments available and they get gobbled up pretty fast okay so money gets you a better better access to education for your kids and then what what happens over time the discrepancy increases right and there's a lot of science fiction that has dealt with this right and basically right now at present india would be the best example i know of which is sort of called a caste system right there's people that have been put into a caste saying this is who you are this is how you can function and the different castes don't intermingle uh, as freely right there's a lot of barriers and a lot of uh, society looked down on them or the cast looked down on them and whatnot so th there's so many so many institutionalized uh, problems in our society try using quantum physics to explain what was previously unexplainable through material science physics and see the reception you get in most science forums glad they can't brand me a heretic and burn me at the stake zoot 
not right now, but a lot of scientists cast system in Babylon 5. I haven't approached it yet. But regarding Zoot, right now they may not be able to burn you at the stake. However, they do blacklist you, right? One example, Norman Norman Finkelstein, right? Historian, professor, extremely well educated, extremely well read, pro prolific writer, has multiple books out there, right? But Norman Finkelstein is teaching about the history of the Middle East specifically that the institutions don't want taught to them specifically related to Israel and how the imperialism march happened in Israel how Israel came to be what his historical aspects are and stuff like this so he got booted out of the university where he had a tenure right because he was talking about facts right and the institution didn't like him that goes to the equal footing right there is no equal footing you cannot speak your mind so in a current state of being right if you extrapolate it from historical context that's the same thing as what happened who are some of there was a galileo that was told to drink poison so he killed himself and they they threw him out of the you know they didn't teach his stuff and whatnot right so they were doing that to historians in 2020 in the 2000 right it's there's a lot of problems in our current state uh, especially related to education I'm using education as an example because we're doing a math stream right uh, so he was a professor with a tenure that they couldn't fire but they fired him right because he supports BDS boycott and divestment sanctions right he speaks truth thanks I was about to send a spoiler Aha. no no don't send me spoilers no 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 spoilers in Babylon 5 like you said it starts in education if you learn well you get well yeah here's the solution to my question oh what's the solution to your question we didn't do it right did we b day boy 30. i don't think we did it right did we galileo was placed under house arrest galileo you might be thinking of socrates is it socrates forced to drink yeah i'm thinking about socrates sir uh, forced to drink hemlock for uh corrupting the youth okay so that's what it was it was socrates yeah R is APR. We have to solve for APR. Oh, brother, APR. I don't know. APY is equal to that. APR. You got to give me the formula for APR. I don't know the formula for APR. <laughs> B day boy. What's APR? All right, let me see if I can look it up. What's APR formula? APR. APR interest formula I don't memorize formulas I have no desire to memorize formulas annual percentage rate no that's a wacko formula if I see it correctly that is hey come on definition investophobia i actually like uh investopo investopedia investopedia where's the formula there it is fees plus interest over principal divided by n times 365 times 100 oh wow i've never seen that formula before okay I, there's a few different ways you're supposed to apply this so da, 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 da. we have to solve for api not fixed is it you need to look for apy and apr simultaneously is that what you need to do got the love compound interest got the love compound interest <laughs> it's okay the interest for eight days is 58 dollars what so we got we got this what 
I definitely use that formula. Have you? I've never used it. Usually they are explained together. Usually they are explained together. Okay. Well, the big problem. Okay. We got way different numbers. Our math is way off. My math is way off. Right? I just assume you're, you're doing loan sharking or something. Thank God the sun is totally blocking this out. I just assume you were doing loan sharking, charging 1.1% over an eight day period. <laughs> That's like serious loan sharking. Percentage is annual. Oh, is that annual? I thought you're charging 1.1% in eight days. That's what I thought. I didn't realize it was 1.1% annual and you're going to do it in eight days. That's like very little. Oh, I totally misunderstood the problem. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that. Sorry. Calculate my wage percentage uh, with it and menu costs. Oh, Elder God, you calculate your wage percentage with it and your menu costs. Okay. Okay. Well, you came for an answer. I did something else which is okay it's, thanks but thank you uh for saying don't be sorry that's what i by the way that's what i tell my students a lot initially when i start working with students they say oh sorry i go why are you apologizing don't apologize you don't need to apologize All right unnecessary is it similar to exponents um you need exponents to do these types of calculations right you're doing a good deed by educating the in generation after you well, for sure we have to we have to right that's something i look one of the reasons i got into education was circumstances okay circumstances right i won't get into the circumstances but what kept me in education was because there's a duty that we have to not allow the centralized institutions to completely utterly destroy lives right to destroy our communities because in the limit we're screwed if we do that right really and we we can't stand alone we have to work together right chicho have you ever wrote a book uh, no miro i plan on it i'm gonna write a math book at some point that's what the ultimate sort of purpose of this whole thing is right to create a math curriculum so I'm gonna start creating modules and stuff I wrote a lot of articles I got into writing in the early 2000 mid 2000s and uh, because I wanted to write right shady chicho shady chicho I'm sitting under a beach umbrella <laughs> take a look because we got the skylight the Sun is shining now here's the beach umbrella part right in the dark yeah Miro a book would be very awesome and I'll work on it I'll work on it okay I think one of the things that we should teach younger generations is how to save money or basic accounting bookkeeping yeah and teaching generations coming up on what it means to live a frugal life right because once you don't satisfy your needs instantly right once you think about expenses and money and try to get a good deal and don't consume at a ridiculous state of existence really right like right now there's a lot of people in this in this society they live to shop right which is insane to me okay so one of the things is amazing to do is to instill frugality on people right and for me it, it was a difficult thing because I used to look down upon what it meant to be frugal I thought that meant being cheap but being frugal does not mean being cheap and I learned that not through the system not through this or that I learned that through a partner that I had for a short period of time and she she lived a frugal life and slowly I you realize you don't need to spend money to have an amazing experience and amazing things right so fr frugal is a good thing 
okay and in for sure you need to learn investing and accounting and bookkeeping and just basically mathematics right careful I agree with you uh, be they boy 30 says uh, the thing the thing I tell people is you can't spend more than you earn basic 101 yeah and the other thing that people need to uh, appreciate is in this current economic system you need to invest so you're getting a certain amount of return now the return doesn't have to be monetary right it could be you're building a more stable life for yourself by staying healthy by educating yourself by investing in your family in your friends in your community right invest in education education is a good investment right but make sure you're not being ripped off make sure you don't go to a university that's charging you a hundred thousand dollars to get a basket weaving degree right which you cannot write off that debt that means you're in debt servitude until you pay off that debt and if interest is accumulating on a compound basis you're basic basically a slave for life don't do it and if you think I'm exaggerating in the United States there are people who have hundreds of thousand dollar dollars of debt tens of thousands of dollars of debt and when the economy takes a belly up they can't service that debt but that that doesn't go away in the extreme case there are people in India for example a lot of farmers in India that have committed suicide because they can't pay back their debt and the only way that the family can be debt free is if the person that holds the debt is dead so they end up killing themselves right suicide by debt right it's crazy be careful Miro very true the world we live in is in today is not a natural way to live in we humans are meant to be constantly on the move active and we have big complex brains which are meant to be constantly learning invest in learning subjects that actually cheer you up and interest you 100 percent, right 100 percent. be day boy my college students uh, go to community most college students go to community college for two years first then transfer to a four-year college to get their bachelor's you save more money that way 100 right don't go for the ivy league schools those are man i've really the private institutions that are living in a bubble and educating their their own caste in that bubble those people are not well off mentally emotionally right they live in bubbles bubbles tend to burst and when they burst they're devastating for people that don't know anything beyond that right and don't try to insert yourself in that bubble that's insanity right my government check comes Monday more math to get me <laughs> my staff faith Craig. oh God elder God I don't I don't envy you brother the bureaucracy would kill me I don't I can't do bureaucracy well the first two years is basically the GE general education yeah just like the housing in 2008 the bubble burst the bubble burst just like now we're we're seeing serious turmoil like people are going oh the stock market is back because you know we knew it was gonna come back it's stable it's gonna keep on going up I'm like oh, I don't know man you <laughs> you you're gonna invest your your energy into a bubble sure the bubble can go a lot higher but uh, to live in a state of a bubble bubble state is not a good existence teaching Jason my younger younger brother just graduated from high school yesterday nice congratulations freedom freedom I'm encouraging him to take CLEP exams to get credits for super cheap then go to community college he could get his associate degree for super cheap and relatively quickly wish I'd done that I dropped out because I didn't want to keep getting into debt cool I'm not sure what the CLEP is is that challenging courses to get credit for the courses you used to be able to do that when I was uh, in university I'm not sure if they still allow it or not you still have to pay a fee though uh, Miro says to B day boy yeah I'm going to community college right now I used to think it was for uh, 
for losers but actually there are some pretty brilliant people there also you get a sense of higher education and so when uh, and so when you then transfer to an actual four-year university it isn't an over overwhelming 100% mural and by the way school is what you make it for the most part right for the most part most people complain the school sucks and stuff like this it means they, they didn't even try to educate themselves right school is just the the foundation right what you get out of school is on you 100 percent on you well, okay let's say 90 percent on you okay so no one should really use the excuse of a school not to get a proper education right because you can self-educate right there there are exceptions of course and high school is different than college or university high school the kids really haven't come into their own yet right they need you need to you need to be careful right Mira I have a friend of mine who is now going to Berkeley community college also opens more doors and gives you more time to actually think about what you want to do yeah alrighty I'm back sorry for being away no worries spider-man it's been a nice chill stream which is fantastic and I'm staying all the way to chat which is great I love it Ivy League dropout here I've heard nothing but horror stories from transfer students about community colleges dragons really I've heard some okay stories man I've heard some okay stories Zoot. how do you rent a Lamborghini without a credit rating cash knowing connections tax write-off from the person that you're renting it right so there's a company that's renting out cars right you know the people okay so you want to ride a Lamborghini right and these guys don't have the clients to rent out the Lamborghini it's high cost right so you go hey can I get your Lamborghini I go yeah sure but can you do one thing rent it out and crash it that way we can collect the insurance on it <laughs> right <laughs> guys rent them here in Vegas and pretend it's theirs best way to pick up who changed just is to throw a Lamborghini around in the club but really do you really want to pick up that hoochie you're gonna pick up a lot of other crap with that hoochie right if you go too far with them and that stuff stays with you forever so be careful what you're picking up in a Lamborghini you might not be able to get rid of it okay may I ask a question are you a teacher professor I, te I teach mathematics I've been teaching mathematics for 20 years 20 plus years okay fun yes he has Miro says I, I don't teach in an institution okay it's kind of like advanced placement AP except uh, so twitching Jason is it's kind of like advanced placement AP except it's for once you're out of high school you have to pay this is the CLEP I believe you have to pay to take an exam but it's still much cheaper than taking a college course most schools have lists posted that break down what exams count towards what classes at their institutions I wasn't sure if CLP exams are only an American thing so this is the same thing that they we had in Canada back in late 80s early 90s when I was going to university you could challenge a course you could see the course material and go through university and say hey listen I know this material can I just write the exam and get credit for it? and they would say well you got to you know you got to run through the hoops and they say okay sure write the exam you wrote the exam you got credit or you had to do the labs in one shot or whatever it was right what subject do you teach and what grade I teach mainly mathematics in high school elementary school high school and a little bit of college not too much college I try to stay away from it right. high school high school math not seen you in a while you good dragons all good either been lurking or catching the streams yeah, dragons lurking is fun I like lurking I challenge five courses nice did you get the, the get the credit for him? Wolfgang did you get the credit for him? and personally I wish I challenged more courses or I, I wish I had challenged courses I didn't really challenge courses I would just sign up for them if I knew the material I just didn't go I just wrote the midterm and the final and I'm done right but that was a waste of money 
but I wasn't in a rush right I enjoyed the university experience I I like that state of calm of learning it's something that you won't very difficult to get outside of education right outside of university for a lot of these streams it's in my best interest to shut up and listen dragons you can always participate dragons b day boy 30 algebra geometry algebra 2 trigonometry calculus which one do you teach i don't teach calculus okay i would have to re-educate myself on calculus even though i have my mind math minor i've forgotten everything all almost everything right trigonometry for sure b day boy if you want here i have an amazing trigonometry playlist on youtube it's basically the best trig uh videos on youtube like really i lay out exactly what trigonometry is and i'm not just what do you call it, blowing my own horn or whatever it is it's fantastic series like really okay and it's an asmr format here where is it there it is here's my trigonometry playlist and i've ordered this from the intro video down right so there's like six hours of trigonometry on here and it is absolutely phenomenal okay here so grade 12 trigonometry i used to teach probability but they took it out of my they took it out of our curriculum in canada so very unfortunate because i used to teach probability pretty intensely it was very good i loved it but i haven't been able to teach it for like 10 years now not in on that level anyway chicho he's my nomination qt Wolfgang I got credit but my health suffered during the, that time oh that's unfortunate Wolfgang you did you, you did you do it in one shot at five courses in one shot no I hope not that's way too many did you major in mathematics I got a minor in mathematics I majored in geophysics I got my honors co-op degree in geophysics with a math minor as far as at, at the time anyway I was the only one from that university that was able to get a geophysics major co-op honors geophysics major from the earth science department with a mathematics minor no one had done it before i gained the system one work term where i was supposed to be working i actually took four math courses i told them i was working for someone that i knew who was in the math department doing a, a work that was secret but it was sort of because I was taking four math courses so I took four math courses to get my math minor I really wanted a math minor there I wanted to do something that no one had done and then I did it and I'm very happy about it okay I'll put a little badge on me game the system get a badge hey old sir was popping what's popping i just popped the whole lemon meringue pie they're very delicious man got it i will check it out check it out man eyes wide yeah probability is interesting probability is extremely crucial game theory <laughs> congrats miro says twitching jason that's fantastic yeah i wish i'd uh, done something like that i went to school for two years for business and now i work in tech but it bugs me to have started the degree and not completed it really want to make sure my younger brother doesn't make the same mistakes i did yeah and there's nothing stopping you from going and finishing it twitching jason but if you don't have a passion in it, why bother don't let it bother you too much nothing stopping you from getting a degree in something else right baby spy is awesome tangerine cake tangerine cake oh that would be delicious hey can you please do your part for the fight against systematic racism by letting chat know black lives matters <laughs> check out our the, the brother uh tangerine cake uh this is a math stream but the last two streams i did two streams ago we did a whole discussion on uh politics current events before that we did two streams on george floyd jonathan magby assist the system policing so just because black lives matters 
it doesn't mean it has to infiltrate every aspect of our lives especially when we're doing mathematics right so check out my content you'll know my take on every situation right oh now you're gonna get banned awesome awesome i'm gonna ban i'm gonna ban i'm gonna ban ban yes <laughs> i haven't banned anyone for a while man that's fantastic i banned my thing didn't i chicho ban good riddance good riddance nice <laughs> Staying on chat is fantastic, man. What math are you teaching right now? X, how you doing? Is laugh. <laughs> Elder God, my short, my sword was sharper than yours. Took him out right away. As soon as he he wrote that, I'm going, man, this guy's trolling. Bad troll. I'm gonna rip him a new one. <laughs> he didn't he didn't let me finish rip him a new one, so we just banned him. <laughs> I can love it love it too funny Tyrion no what did he say I can't I, I'm not gonna say it right he's just he's just a, he's just a that person is a perfect product byproduct of our current centralized education system he's too dumb to know who he is right so all he's doing he's lashing out <laughs> yeah I'm too stupid to know who I am I'm gonna lash out on everything right it, it's unfortunate right but there are people like this given the opportunity there is help available for them right just like there's help available for people who are traumatized and have ptsd and who've had the shorted and the stick and stuff like this the person might have been abused all his life right and the only thing they can do is lash out it could be all that right but we don't have to put up with it right a lot of crap happens to a lot of good people that turns them nasty it doesn't mean just because they had a lot of bad things happen to them they have a right to make life miserable for everyone else right everybody's got to deal with their own shit they can't just smear it on other people and say oh life gave me a short stick so i'm gonna give the short stick to everyone else well get out of here right simple as that zoot older brother just got his third masters from mit as a math bachelor from the naval academy here and uh, Morika, I choose to stop uh, with one masters when I started popping out midget. <laughs> Can't see I could ever go back after recently auditing classes. Oh my god, yeah. I personally couldn't go back to uh, university if I want to learn something, I'm just going to teach it myself, right? That being said, I would love at some point when I'm a little bit more free time to go sit in university math classes and just listen and learn or relearn a lot of mathematics that i've forgotten right none of that around here twitching jason for sure bye bye lark says <laughs> you're all laughing i was writing <laughs> can you teach fractions for sure and negative fractions negative numbers for sure uh, but we're towards the end of the stream brother i have a whole playlist out there on the basics of mathematics let me find that for you here go to the language of mathematics and this is ordered from the most recent video that I put out right so if you want to view this playlist go all the way down to the bottom start off from the basics and the first video I put out was back in 2007 okay and it's pretty damn good okay I put my heart and soul into these things I took chalk tripod sometimes a ladder and I went out into the city and I did it urban graffiti style right I set up my tripod go gorilla style into an alley or some closed construction area <laughs> and set up the camera sometimes in the middle of the night sometimes during the day sometimes morning afternoon whenever and I go do math on the walls right with chalk trying to teach mathematics and some of the stuff I cut with music, specifically uh, rap music, hip hop. Okay. They're immature, degenerate out there, Lark. Yeah, I can read it. <laughs> Seriously, Elder God, you can read it. Cool. Hey, what's up, buddy? Rambo85, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. To be fair, 
It did say open discussion on your title. <laughs> Wolfgang Blitz. He did say, it does say open discussion. <laughs> I appreciate it, Atlas Bruce. My pleasure, my pleasure. And uh, let me know if you need help, direction, and uh, I can point you to certain videos, right? Uh, is this the last mass stream for a while? I believe so, Spider Man. Or, or do you have a few more coming? I, in my part of the world, half of my students are ending uh, by next week, uh, I believe. There's one student that I have in Alberta that I, we do long distance. He's ending this week, but we're going to continue working all summer uh, because that's what they want, which is fantastic, right? Uh, but half of my students end by next week. Next week or within two weeks. And, you know, because school's not in, they're not really writing exams or just is make work projects so unless people really want us to do a mass stream during the summer this might be our last mass stream i might do one more because it's math right those videos are great i love the one where the kids ask you what you're doing yeah and get this dragons that video that i shot google maps has that image on Google Maps I have it on my blog someone someone said hey Chicho your your chalk is on Google Google, Google Maps I actually have it should I show it to you let me, let me show you the article where I have that on there you'll get a kick out of this you'll get a kick out of this hey are you gonna put that on YouTube the kids came up to me it was super cool super cool a blast from the past check this out and I have to pick on it and Google Maps I know Google Maps updates every now and then no it's still there <laughs> check this out gang you guys are gonna you guys are gonna love this oh hold on a second I gotta copy it check this out okay I have a video of when I was doing this a bunch of kids came up to me and talked to me and I cut it at the beginning where I was doing units and ratios and this is what we ended up doing Google Maps has this still on Google Maps you can zoom in and take a look at where I was doing the work right and I've linked up the video at the bottom as well it's me with a gigantic beard and that place I've gone to multiple times and I've done multiple videos there because it's a fantastic place it's under a bridge in Vancouver okay so if you if you like a little history of that stuff you'll love it i think it's the one with the beard where the kids ask me hey uh, what are you doing are you gonna put that on youtube i go yeah <laughs> can i get help with calc 3? i don't know calc 3 or i used to know it i've forgotten your background is physics my geophysics atlas atlas brood would you describe yourself as a socialist I don't know I don't I don't go with the titles man if you follow my work uh, you enjoy myself if you follow my work you'll know my philosophy regarding politics economics life in general love it too they just showed the new uh, ps5 console you can buy me one <laughs> no sorry Rambo <laughs> Yeti Yeti he human. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. Which video do the uh, kids ask? You'll find it there, Spider Man, in that link. I remember those. Love a lot. I think you have a probability one with Wu Tang. Jeez, it feels like another era of your content. Yeah, or most death. The mathematics. Da -da 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 mathematics. Please, a lyric stream. Elder God. Okay, uh, remind me on Discord we'll do okay so we got to do a cooking we got to do a comic book we got to do a lyrics i got to remember those if you can send me a reminder on that elder god so i don't forget cooking comic books lyrics and we do okay a math teacher with enthusiasm enthusiasm is priceless <laughs> nice wolf camp i got kids involved doing it like it was fantastic right they were just watching me and when i was doing the video by the way the kids were playing and i was doing it right i'm doing a video and they were they were smart enough respectful enough to realize that I was doing a video so they didn't interrupt me when I was doing the video right they kept on playing circling around me my camera was set up to go around and do their thing and whatnot 
and then when I was done they came up to me and said hi what are you doing right fantastic right fantastic to follow along in the no atlas brood I haven't put the books together okay I put the videos together I put the content together but my plan is at some point in the future when I'm able to you know get this project self-sustaining right so if you can support this work <laughs> through picture self-sustaining where I can free enough time free enough time I'm gonna sit down and start putting the text together and putting examples together and putting basically the mortar together right to build these modules that's what I'm working on right and I'm not in a rush I love this pro I love what I'm doing and I know I'm going to do it at some point those is a life it's my thesis really and we'll get it done as long as I'm breathing I'll work towards it okay bummer I was excited to find a mass stream uh, baby spice if you guys still want mass streams during the summer let me know and we'll do right dice power hey you are you still uh, talking uh, uh, taking math questions uh, we're at the end brother dice power we're at two hours uh, if it's speedy Gonzalez maybe but my voice gets a little cracky after two hours right I'm here for the long game right lark yeah I can't see myself going back to school I'm far from that and I'm glad it's over yeah me too but it was an amazing experience while being in it right I wish you were my math teacher thank you very much for the for the love human thank you very much for the love ha, this is awesome nice nice I don't think uh, that, that, that so I'm gonna scroll down scroll down big wall plays big wall plays I'm brain dead in physics. Physics is just applied mathematics. Twitching Jason, all right, I got the bounce. Okay, Twitching Jason, thanks for popping by. I'm gonna go for a walk before it gets dark. Take care, everyone. Till next time. Till next time, Rambo. I just played Call of Duty Warzone. Do you like that game? Do you prefer a sniper rifle or assault rifle? Game? I don't play. I, I played Call of Duty many many moons ago, right? Uh, I'm not playing the games right now, Rambo. So. A sniper is fun but knife is fun too right that's the way it should be I totally respect that people who are willing to learn and absorb as much education and data as possible yeah what's the square root of negative 2 2 I or not 2 I square root of 2 I <laughs> square root of 2 I <laughs> QC warrior how are you doing I downloaded last of us uh, I want to finish it before part 2 comes out okay gang let's call the stream let's call the stream thanks for being here gang if you want to follow this work I'm on patreon patreon.com backslash chicho chycho I don't put anything behind paywalls my work is creative commons share and share alike you don't have to contribute to be able to follow the post okay so if you do have the means supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to support this project right but you can just follow and see what we're rolling out right and just stay up to up to date right and check out all the content and if you do ever have the means support this work through this project through uh, patreon right we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat as it's happening twitch is where you want to be at okay and by following or subscribing is also a great way to support this work through twitch and by the way gang i saw some follows and subscribes come down if i didn't catch them thank you very much for the follows and the subscribes okay very much appreciate it i do announce these streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gabs minds vk and elo okay you can follow the work there and see what it is that we're sharing we will be uploading a lot of the content the audio of it as podcasts to soundcloud because people have asked me for a number of years to do this right so finally this year we decided to do this thank you for the love rambo okay so if you want to just listen to this content the, right now the math stuff is not going in there but a lot of the discussions we have regarding politics economics comic books and stuff is being put on there 
okay and I'm going back through the archive of 900 plus videos we have on YouTube and slowly going to be uploading that stuff on SoundCloud as well as you can tell it's going to take a long time right so we're here for the long game right and I will be uploading these videos to YouTube and BitChute everything goes to BitChute and as much as possible goes to YouTube as long as the sensors do not deplatform us or there's a threat to be deplatformed uh, on YouTube okay um, and this year we just got approved for YouTube membership so if you are following through YouTube you can support this work through YouTube membership by joining this project okay and of course subscribing following liking and sharing and whatnot right aside from that gang uh, chat thank you very much mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for the conversations thank you for the discussions thank you for the love I hope you guys are having a fantastic fantastic morning day evening afternoon okay and i will most likely announce the next set of streams probably in about three or four days i'll announce them for next week okay i need to do a little bit of catching up for the next few days um just uploading stuff editing some stuff and with my students so expect a new schedule for next live streams today is thursday probably by sunday i'll have it up okay if not sunday then monday okay aside from that gang bye everyone maybe talk on discord and we do have a discord page if you want to share information okay bye everyone